Hello, I'm Izzy Castro with LTA Photo and Media, located in Hollywood, Florida. And today I'm going to do a quick review of a little item that I just picked up um, today. And I'd like you to uh, see. I'm sure probably most of you have seen other reviews about this. This is the GoPro battery backpack. Now, I just happen to have among other things a GoPro as well this one is the hero 3 plus now of course now we have a uh, new um, heroes out in the market and even other companies are coming up with this type of uh, technology um, I enjoy using this camera um, not as much as I should um, uh, use it I don't use it as much um, and mainly because battery life um, battery life, uh, the life um, excuse me has a tendency to be a little bit short when you're doing uh, a lot of video and um, I was waiting for a solution for that and I came across this today uh, I heard about it before but I was waiting for the price to come down a little bit actually uh, this particular item was uh, somewhere about $49 uh, I thought you know what 49 bucks it's not bad uh, I'm gonna give it a shot so uh, I took all uh, I took all of this one here today and I brought it in and um, I was pleasantly surprised that it came with uh, extra parts uh, for instance this little piece here that allows you to pivot the uh, camera once it's mounted on its pedestal here um, because it makes uh, once once you install the back and this is the original the original um, a case that, that my GoPro came in and I have another case as a, as a aftermarket but I have to use this one because it came one for waterproof and this one which is uh, the skeleton as you can see right here I'm gonna put it real up close and you notice it becomes a little bit uh, thicker than um, than your average also this allows uh, if you buy the uh, little screen I heard some things about the little screen It's pretty cool but it eats up batteries like crazy so uh, keeping that in mind I decided maybe using this battery pack which I already have charged took about maybe less than an hour to charge and there there you go it's the GoPro it looks lovely it looks nice very nice and compact and of course it's very simple to use uh, one thing I wasn't sure is that uh, whether or not you can uh, use this without the battery on the inside uh, the, um, the, the, the battery you know that the, that comes with it and I discovered that you have to have both so what this does here is that you has a little um, uh, slit here and here's the connector and then you close it and once you close it and put it together now uh, the GoPro bef becomes a, a bigger a bigger little block with a lens now um, when you power this and I'm gonna put this real close to the camera so you can see when you power it's defaulting to the uh, video and I'm gonna put it a little bit closer for you so you can see here uh huh there you go it's gonna show you how much power the battery pack is uh, putting there whether or not it is full or whatnot now also the battery pack has an indicator in the back and there's a little corner there I'm gonna put it right there if you see that little window there it has a battery indicator it's full and um, what's so cool about this is that now 
I'm gonna actually be able to do some uh, some serious footage with this. Um, I put together a rig for the camera, and uh, uh, I'm gonna put it to the test today. Um, today's Sunday, and my God, it's uh, May 31st. Um, so we're gonna put this in here. Uh, you, as most of you know, you just open this. And this one is this cover is brand new. This back here is brand new. So, and you place your camera inside like so. And now you close this. You snap it. Lovely. And there you have it. Now you're gonna have twice as much, and according to the instructions, it's gonna be twice as much recording power. I have a 32 gig card in this one. Um, so as soon as I can um, do my final test and whatnot, um, I'm gonna uh, share the, the footage with you. And anyway, the, the rig that I put together, um, it was actually my DSLR rig, but I, com I, I configure it different so that I can uh, put the, the GoPro. So now let me, here's the base. So I'm gonna take this screw out and we're gonna insert this right here like so. And now it's in there. It makes it a little bit taller, which is cool. All right. So we just adjust this here somewhat. Actually, I don't think I need this, but according to this, it says that you need it. I don't know if I really need it, but I put it anyway so uh, there you go it's uh it's put together pretty cool and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little something that I came up with as far as how you're gonna see you know what you're recording you have a little screen now the reviews that I heard about the screen, which is cool, it tends to shorten the life of the battery. And you can't have a screen when you're using this power back anyway. So, the next best thing is an iPhone that doesn't necessarily have to be connected. It doesn't have to be working as far as, you know, having service connected via uh, Wi-Fi and there you have it you have your screen or with velcro like I put it on uh, I can put some velcro back here but this one has an open is open here but since that doesn't work that way here in this particular cover I have this little gadget here now this gadget came with one of those little sticks that you extend and you put your cell phone and you do your selfies and whatnot with it. And you put it like this. Let me just illustrate here real quick. You put it like this. You lift it up. You adjust your phone in it. Bam. And there you go. Instant screen. Now. We're going to put this together. And I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to put this thing together in just a few seconds okay now that we have our our GoPro here mounted and ready to go I also have this uh, little adapter here with what's gonna what 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 it's going to become the screen and now I'm going to show you the rig that I have put together for this and here's the rig 
Now, uh, this was originally for um, for my DSLR. I decided to configure it different. Um, actually, this bar is the one that's supposed to be for the shoulder pad and whatnot that go, goes coming from this angle here. So when you you hold it this way. But I found that this configuration is pretty much like the one I seen in uh, in some newscasts, and this is from a also um, a camera um, a flash holder. And this piece I you can unscrew, and then I screw it over here so I can put my Rode microphone. This a little wire adapter right here cost me three dollars uh, on eBay. And it's to be able to use the roads with my GoPro. Now the GoPro is uh, usually, you know, it, it records okay with uh, its onboard microphone, but I prefer to use this microphone. And I've seen this uh, kind of something similar to the to this uh, uh, set, uh, setup. Um, probably in a cage setup that I seen a couple of uh, people in the news media using this. So let's uh, put this on, and we're just just gonna slide this. I have the uh, the slider here. Now I'll move. I can move this forward. That's, you know, and now we tighten this. We adjust the camera to a uh, to a level where we gonna be able to use it properly and I said that this this is pretty much gonna look like that with the with now the question is whether or not this is gonna work over here with the microphone and that's that's a question that I, is only gonna be answered by me inserting this here because I mean, it has uh, other connections and whatnot, so hopefully this, you can connect your microphone here, and we're going to put this to the test uh, in a moment. So basically, this is the setup with the camera alone. Here's uh, the view from the back. Here's the view from the front. And now I'm going to add this piece here. On the top here and it's gonna be very cool uh, you can also use um, there's several things you can use to adapt this here um, so you can move your camera around now you have this piece on top so now I'm gonna turn on the phone okay and we're going to go into uh, the Wi-Fi settings right here now we got to figure out how I'm gonna turn on the uh, Okay, we gotta hit that one, <clears throat> and uh, it's gonna come up. You know, hopefully, it'll come up. Uh, the Wi Fi will turn on. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. So, I should be able to go to the Wi Fi and find the camera and there it is there there it is is the uh, GoPro cam is connected right now is making the connection so now I'm in now I look for GoPro there's GoPro and voila I have preview Awesome, huh? I got preview. Check it out. 
Let me see if it, in the camera here. See, I got pre preview. So if I can. So now I don't need that small, um, the small um, display. This is a little bit bigger. I have also an iPhone 5 that I have already set up to work with this if I want a larger screen. And uh, the beauty of this is that um, you can control everything right from here. You don't have to mess around with the with the with the camera at all. Everything you can just do it. Everything right from here with the uh, GoPro software for your uh, iPhone or uh, Android. Uh, it seems to me that it works better with um, with the uh, iPhone. I don't know why. I haven't had much good luck with the uh, Androids. So, so this is it, pretty much. Um, you're gonna record, you press, and we're recording right now. And I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on this, and hopefully uh, I'm gonna get sound, and we're gonna find out if uh, there's uh, gonna be sound here or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to me and I'm going to talk into the microphone. Hello, testing one, two. This is Itzy Castro LTA Photo and Media. Running a test. Test one, two, one, two, test. And we turn it around. We're going to stop the recording. Okay, now that you hear that, the recording is stopped. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. If we want to see the pictures, the only thing is that to see the, the image in this angle here, for some reason it doesn't, it doesn't give you the, uh, the option. So you have to kind of uh, turn it this way and then over here you see your footage. Now we're going to play it. And we're recording right now. And I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to turn on this and hopefully uh, I'm going to get sound and we're going to find out if uh, there's uh, going to be sound here or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to me and I'm going to talk into the microphone. Hello, testing one, two, this is Itzy Castro LTA. Well, it seems that the microphone is not working. So this connection here doesn't allow the microphone to work. We're going to stop the recording. So what it's using is uh, probably is using the internal mic so this is kind of this connection here is not good so it has to go on this one here unfortunately this housing over here does not allow me to plug in because this is the one for underwater use and uh you know the other one i have this cover doesn't work on it so that being said um that's a minor setback, but you live and you learn. Um, <clears throat> we'll figure something out. I may have to get another housing uh, to, you know, to be able to record sound and whatnot. But, you know, that's, um, I mean, it's still cool. You know, it's still cool. Um, because if I don't like the sound on this, I can always use my Tascam DR40 and then I'll sync it in post and it's gonna sound lovely anyway but that's my uh review of this uh battery pack with the um a gopro 3 plus and and i just want to share with you my little rig here that i came up with and you know reconfigure this thing <laughs> to do something you know uh simpler and it's it's light and then you can just uh 
it'll 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 act as a steady uh cam if you will you know you can just uh take nice very nice shots with this you know and, and move move around and it's it's um i see a lot of possibilities with this so i'm gonna put this this one to the test uh and as soon as i i'm done with it um i'm gonna show you some uh clips in the next couple of minutes uh, you know seconds if you will because once i put everything in post it's going to be together with this one so thank you very much for uh listening and um i hope you enjoyed it and uh, once again this is izzy castro lta photos and media